On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to ice a cake so that it's ready to be decorated. Okay, so I have my cake on my cake board and I put some gripper paper underneath so that as we are really working on it and smoothing out the icing that there's no movement and we can keep going. So I already iced the middle part and this isn't really a big deal and it's probably the hardest part because this is the bottom of the actual cake and so it's really smooth but this is the inside of the cake where we leveled so there's going to be a lot of crumbs on this so I'm really glad this doesn't really matter because it would have a lot of crumbs in it so after I've layered that I'm going to get my next tier and this one is bigger than this bottom one as in thicker um, but I cut this one down so that this six inch cake wouldn't be too big. So I'm going to make sure it's completely centered and level. Okay, now this is going to be the crumb coat. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a very thin layer on the cake. I like to get a big blob of icing and just pile it on top of the cake. In my buttercream tutorial I told you um, that it needs to be very thin when you're icing a cake and it's so true. This should be a really thin icing so that's easy to work with. So I put a big glob on, and I'm just going to work it around like this. Work to the edges, and see how smooth and really thin this icing is. And it's okay if you get some crumbs, this is just a protection, so when you do the real layer, there are no crumbs. And I bring it to the edges. Okay. And then I'll get some more icing. And I'll start working on the sides. So I'll kind of bring it down and push it down as I'm going. And then I'll start going this way. I'm going to do this all around the cake. And it doesn't really need to be smooth since we're going to put another layer of icing over this. And just keep going. I'm still finishing up my crumb coat. And this is what it's looking like. Just doing a really thin layer. And I'm making sure the sides are smooth. Alright, I'm going to stick this in the freezer so it's faster for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and this will help the icing harden. So when we are ready to put our last layer of frosting on, it will be perfectly hard and it won't give us any trouble, it won't move around and we won't get any crumbs. All right, this is right out of the freezer. And as you can see, the frosting is hard. It's not sticking to me. I'm going to put my final layer of icing on. And this is where you can get kind of a perfectionist at it. You really want it to be perfect. So I put a big glob again. I'm gonna do probably almost exactly the same thing I did before. So I'm gonna start from the top. And the icing is still pretty thin. So I'm going to start from the top, work it around, make sure your spatula is completely cleaned off. It's 
This is also going to help you to get a good color so you can't see the chocolate cake underneath. Again, I get some more frosting. I'm going to go for the sides and I work it around. I'm doing one last run through with my spatula to get it as straight as I can. And then I'm going to use a Viva paper towel, which will smooth out all the rest of the edges. If you don't have a Viva paper towel around, you can get your spatula and dip it into some very hot water. And as you dip, it cleans off the frosting and it gets the spatula hot. So as you're going around, it smooths it really, really nicely. And even before that, make sure that you clean off your spatula quite often so that I can have an even working space and it won't get caught on the icing. Alright, let's use the Viva paper towel now. We're going to take it with the smooth side down like this and with our hands run across it and take a look at it looking good. A little bit more. And you do this around, I do it for the top first. And I'm really lightly pressing. Okay, that looks awesome. And then I will do it for the sides. I've smoothed it out with the Viva paper towel and it looks great. I love the look of it. If people don't like to eat fondant or don't like their cakes covered in fondant, you can definitely use this buttercream as an alternative because I think it can be just as smooth and it tastes delicious.